gummy bear. Okay, so what we're going to do for you next is called an oscillating reaction. And we're going to pour at the same time for these three solutions. And you'll see as we pour that there are three clear colorless solutions. So I want you guys to take a look and see what's going to happen. I just need one. Yellow. Okay, so orange. Ah, oh. blue. Oh. It's magic. So we're gonna look at it. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Is it gonna catch a fire? Fire! Oh no! I noticed like a little bit. There it goes. It's a little bit slow. It's just a little bit on the slow side. So this oscillating reaction is supposed to uh, turn orange, blue, and clear. And it's going a little bit slow today. Um, there it goes. Kind of. Uh, we made these yesterday. Sometimes it kind of makes them a little bit slow. But what it does is it's a reaction that just keeps going back and forth. Uh, <laughs> or supposed to. And the way it was discovered was that some high school teachers were cleaning up at the end of the semester and they had their big waste bucket. And the waste, they were just kind of dumping everything in. And then later they turned around and they looked at their waste bucket and they realized that there was this reaction going on. They were seeing orange to blue to clear going just over and over and over. And so being the smart chemists that they were, they worked their way backwards, figured out what they had added to that beaker, and they came up with this reaction. It's called the Briggs-Rocher reaction, which usually works really well for me.